Alrighty, I am going to show you how to change the digitizer connection as well as the home button flex that controls your power button, volume button, and magnetic center. <coughs> so the first step, we are going to go ahead and remove the digitizer connection. This little guy right here. And so what we're going to use um, for that, also list some of the tools. Um, we're going to use some flux, some solder paste, quick alloy solder, low melt solder basically, um, and then just some solder and desoldering braid. <coughs> the first step that you're going to do um, to desolder it is apply some flux onto the cable connection and then you are going to take a tiny piece of low melt alloy solder and you're going to work it into that connection so it can come off effortlessly should be able to see it start to get worked in. Change from that gold to more of a silver color. Just keep working it in for just a little bit. You should get to a point where you can just pull it right off, just like that. And so then we are going to put this aside and use it later. So the next step is we're going to remove the digitizer, um, or the home button connection. And for that, we need to apply a little bit of heat to remove the home button bracket. So I'll just use my heat gun. You don't need it too much, just enough to, so you can get underneath here. Just like that. So you're going to fold this cable back and this cable is just going to come up and you're going to lift it slowly until you get to there. Um, as soon as you get to the end, you'll take a little tool and slide it under here and then just slide it um, back. You can see how um, that connection kind of broke when that's just onto the digitizer, and we aren't going to reuse that part anyway. <coughs> so, add a little flex again. I'm not sure if it's on there. Yeah, it's still on there a little bit. This one you shouldn't need. Um, low melt solder should just come right off like that. And you can see it removed right there. And what you're going to do next, put that aside with your digitizer connection. You are going to remove the home button here. And you can just push it up and through. And then the last thing that you want to transfer is that home button bracket right there. And you can heat that up and remove it. So we are going to go on to our next screen here and start reassembling stuff.
And we'll start back with that home button bracket or flex cable. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of solder paste to the connection to get nice even, oops, nice even mounds on it. So just a little bit on there, not very much. And then you're just going to work it in your soldering iron. Alrighty. I'm going to clean my iron quick. Get this lined up. So you are going to slide this underneath this connection right here. And then there are two circular openings on each side that you are going to line up. There's a little hole right in here, and that will help you make sure you have it properly lined for all of the solder connections. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get it lined up, but you want to make sure that you have it 100% lined up. Alright, that side is lined up, so I'm just going to do the um, very end, we'll add a little bit of flux, and then I'm just going to tap the very end one, and the solder will come up and through it, only the last two, and then we'll make sure we have the other side lined up properly, it's a little sticky. And it appears that it is still lined up properly. So we'll add a little flex all the way there, crossed, and then you're just going to go and touch each one of them individually. And you'll see them flow right through there. And then sometimes I take my knife and then I'll just go right next to it and hold it in place. Hold that cable down. So if you're putting it back together and you're testing out the screen and your home button doesn't work or your power button doesn't work unless you hold it all the way down until it says to power off, this is um, the cables and the connections that you are looking for. Next what you would do is install your home button and I don't have mine with me right now. Home button um, and we are going to take off this adhesive, not the adhesive cover, fold that over and then you would add your home button and yeah, we'll do that quick. doing a white one for an example. I'll go back and change it. So you want to make sure you get it aligned or else the two um, holes at the top won't fit properly. So you just get lined up and it'll, it'll go right into place there. And sometimes you'll need to add more adhesive to the home button. Sometimes you won't. So we'll just try it how it is. You just want to make sure it has um, a reflex in it. And you can hear it. 
so that sounds perfect. Next what we're going to do is we're going to add the digitizer connection here and we used low melt alloy solder on that connection so we need to remove that off of the connection here or else you won't get a good strong hold so you just add a little bit of flux and you'll take a, um, the length of desoldering braid and your soldering iron and you're going to soak up that solder You'll see how it gets nice and clean. Alrighty, so now that that's clean, we are going to use some more solder paste. So that way you get nice even mounds on it. And then just work it in on each pad. I like to touch on this, the actual connection, because it doesn't get near as hot as the rest of the board. So after you get it nice and worked in really well, we're going to clean our tip off for the excess solder. All right. <coughs> and what you're going to do is you'll just add a little bit of flux, nice thin line. And you're going to line it up again with um you just got to make sure you got it lined up. And this one's a little bit harder. Um, since there aren't holes in it. So that looks like it's lined up, so I'm going to hold that side there. I'm going to move it over just a little bit. So I'm going to hold that side touch on these last couple here and you'll see the solder flow right through there and then it appears that it is lined up properly so I'm going to go ahead and touch right on the other end so it looks like it's lined up properly, so we'll just do a little bit more flux on the top that will help the solder come up and through there. my tip quick. So you're going to go and touch every one of these and you'll see the solder come up and through. And I'll go nice and slow across every single one. On each row. So 
so that looks pretty good to me. And what will help, see, it turns a little bit redder. So if you take an alcohol wipe, it might be a little hot, but if you take an alcohol wipe and clean off the flux and such, it should get nice and shiny. That looks pretty good. So then after you transfer your bracket up at the top of the screen for your front um, facing camera here, after you transfer that and apply adhesive to the screen, it is ready to go.